Hello everybody, I am the Solo Gamer, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide Expansion Pack. Welcome back to the first 250 turns of the game. Yes, this is the second episode, and uh, we've kind of explained some of the features already, but uh, there's still a lot more to go, and uh, a lot more to discover. So, without further ado, let's hit next turn and get going. Yeah, we still have that Makara down here. Uh, it hasn't gone into the water, so I assume it, it can't, but I really have no idea. Oh, hello there, friend. You are really terrifying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So over here we found a progenitor ruin. Okay, very nice. Uh, oh, and there's an alien uh, sea dragon protecting this resource pod, which is very interesting. I think my uh, my little things have turned off here. I'm not sure what's going on. Alien nests. No, that's that's not it. Uh, huh. I'm not sure. It seems that the alien icons have disappeared. Maybe I have to be like right next to them. All right, let's stop. We'll we'll actually test that next turn. It might have something to do with the hotkeys for my recording and stop recording, but I'm really not sure. Oh no, there it is. Inside this resource pod, you found a cache of laboratory equipment from old Earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. Great, so we found uh, 19 research. Okay, and... Okay, yeah, you have to be, like, right next to it. Well, no. You know, I, I really don't know, but it's fine. You know, kinks can be worked out over time. Right, you can go back on exploration because there's another resource pod over there, and you're probably going to head straight towards it. Okay, how long do we have left on this? We have about... Oh, right now. Perfect! Uh, your expedition team salvaged the wreckage of a crashed satellite of some kind. Uh, it was relatively intact after falling in from orbit, resulting in many useful scrap materials that give your city of Song a boost of 80 production. Perfect. Which actually finished what I was working on. Which was a... Uh, a, a patrol boat. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we have 12 turns left on pioneering. So, let's go ahead and work on a clinic. And then probably after that, another explorer. We'll see. Uh, it depends on, you know, whether or not I get more science or whatnot. Okay, so patrol boat. You're going to go ahead and explore, and hopefully you head, yes, in this direction. There's another alien hydra coral. So obviously, as you can imagine, the aquatic world is going to be very, very populated. And it might be in your best interest not to attack the aliens. Uh, unless you're, you're damn near prepared to protect your aquatic area your aquatic cities, because there are a lot of aquatic units, and some that we haven't even seen yet. You know, there, there's other units in the water, uh, so it's it's definitely a scary world out here, but just make sure you're, make sure you're kind of civil at first. You know, build up a large navy if you want to attack them. <laughs> okay, it looks like this guy expanded. Yeah, so they might expand. I'm going to go ahead and check the, uh, the Civpedia, Civilopedia. I think that's what it's called. And uh, actually get a, a description for these guys, because I don't know if I can show the Civilopedia. So, yeah, we'll just uh, just hang tight for a second. Okay, so there was a description in here that kind of said that they grow into colonies. Um, now, that wasn't part of the actual description. That was part of, like, their history. So I'm not sure if that is true or not. But we'll kind of watch this and see if it grows. Uh, now, there's a small one, and there's two large ones. Okay, remember that for the future. It's kind of hard to forget it, because we can see it uh, every time we look at our city. So... We'll just keep an eye on them. Okay, so we're going back to the city because we uh, we lost our expedition modules. We only had one to start with. We're going to go back, grab another one, and then move out to the progenitor ruin. Hopefully we grab an artifact soon because... Oh, there's a sunken vehicle over here. Yeah, hopefully we grab an artifact soon because I really want to show you guys uh, what, they, what those artifacts can actually do. They're really, really nice. I like them a lot. They're kind of like the, uh, the, uh, the great works of this game. Whoa! Uh... Okay, so we found more uh, research, which is great. But... Oh, what is this? Gifts from home, 10 science. Oh, that was the uh, quest to find the two resource pods. That's right. Where did this one go? It's gone. That is scary. Hopefully it died. But I don't think it did. Uh, maybe it moved? No, I don't want to waste movement with him. Just go back home. That's creepy. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Okay. Um, right. Well, we're going to move on, and uh, hopefully we find out where that guy went. What? 
Oh, over here. Okay, so another civilization just made planet fall. They made planet fall on one of the larger islands of this uh, archipelago, which is great. Uh, so we'll get to see who that is once we explore that area, if we explore that area. Okay. Uh, quest decision. Our newly constructed memorial to Old Earth, while important to the people, is expensive to maintain. A privately held corporation has quietly approached us about buying the relic with assurances that they will keep it accessible to the public. For the most part. Yeah, I don't like that for the most part at the end there. That doesn't really... No. Uh, I'm not going to sell the rights. Although it would be, uh, you know, maintenance free. No. I don't want to sell our dignity, so to speak. Uh, refuse the offer. Plus one culture from every single relic. So we're getting one more culture each, which is just great. Remembering our past is vital to the collective psyche of our people. Allowing it to remain completely public and free will ensure the growth of our culture. Yes, indeed. So, now if we take a look, it is three culture and two capital. And that's two capital each turn. Uh, as you can see here, we're getting five capital each turn. Once we get to 150, I think I'll be able to show you guys uh, what the capital can actually do. Okay, go there. And I think we're going to go down to the sunken ship first. Yeah, let's do that. But let's go through this resource pod. Okay. So we're building a clinic in three turns. Uh, pioneering in two turns, which is also very, very nice. Uh, resource pod. Yes, inside the resource pod, you find a collection of goods and luxuries from Old Earth that your people never thought they would see again. Uh, 25 culture. Awesome. Quest update. I didn't mean to actually get rid of that. Vanishers. Uh, build one clinic building. Well, we're going to build it in two turns, but what is this? That's the word they use. Vanishers. The shadowy devils that drag off our colonists' loved ones in the night. What? That's kind of creepy. Uh, people say they're the size of bears, but with countless limbs and dead spider-like eyes. Oh my god. Uh, those are the tales anyway. All we know for sure is that the citizens have been mysteriously disappearing from Jiangsang ever since it was founded. A few victims recently were discovered near a cave outside of town. They're alive, but unconscious. These are the few souls who might have answers. We must do what we can to save them. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's kind of terrifying, but I guess we'll get to the bottom of this, uh, once we build this, uh, clinic. So, this right here is another resource. It's a sea vent, essentially. Uh, also the floatstone. Yeah, so all the major resources, like the floatstone, the xenomass, and the fraxite can be found on the water as well. Uh, as well as, like I said, we got eggs over here, coral, uh, shells, and sea vents. I'm not sure if there are any more, but, uh, those are the ones that we can see in the general area of us. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's really cool. And you can also build the, uh, the basic type improvements as well. So, like, the farms, the energy conductors, which are the generator. Energy generators, that's it. Um, so, yeah, so you can build all that stuff on the water as well. It's just uh, these resources help you get an extra boost in whatever they provide. Develop a virtue. Well, uh, I guess we'll get a worker. That sounds nice. Okay, you're going to go ahead and work on a work barge to work on the coral. I like that. So the work barge is going to give us science, uh, one science and one production on this uh, this tile, which I like. Let's do it. All right, you're heading off this way. Hopefully you find no aliens on this island, but you never know. Inside the resource pod, you found a basic satellite still intact and enough rocket fuel for it to reach escape velocity. A free solar collector is now ready. Awesome. Oh. Okay, this one didn't actually play. Uh, the universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. Absolutely. So we discovered uh, pioneering, which gives us the ability to build uh, colonists, trade vessels, trade convoys, and uh, trade depots. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, once we're done with this clinic, we're going to go in here to a trade depot. And, uh, well, we don't actually have anything to kind of trade to, but hopefully one of those city-state type... Uh, stations pop down soon. And near us. That'd be great. Okay, so the solar collector, we're not going to use right now because we're not actually working on all the tiles, and we can't. So I'm going to wait until we have enough population to actually work the general area around us. So let's just go ahead and put you on sleep and uh, come back to you later. Quest updated. Uh, found an outpost, right? So we're going to go ahead and build a colonist unit eventually. In fact, I don't think I will. I think I'll wait until we can grab it uh, through this prosperity tree. Because there's a lot of stuff to build. And 
a lot of stuff to work on here in technology. Uh, as you can kind of see, there's a lot more colors. Uh, one thing, I, now see, I think this was in the base Beyond Earth game, but I, I do want to point it out because I really do like it. They finally added colors to each and everything. So like the world wonders are going to be in yellow. The buildings in blue, the units in gray. Um, there's also improvements as pink. And they show which affinity each tech has by this little circle here. This little half circle, or this little third circle, I guess you would call it. Uh, and it tells you which, uh, which affinity you can grab in this technology, which is great. So, talking about affinities, there are hybrid affinities now. So if you go into purity, but you also go into supremacy, you actually get a bonus for something in there. Uh, and I'll explain that once we get our first affinity. But uh, just note that there are hybrid affinities now, and ooh... There's an alien skeleton right here, so we might as well just stop going, you know, down here. We're gonna go there eventually, but let's stop here at the alien skeleton and uh, excavate it while we still can. Okay, yeah, you just stop. We're not attacking them, not yet, anyway. Uh, hopefully not in the future, hopefully it just disappears like its friend did, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's go down to the homesteading, right? Homesteading, so that I can go down to... Got a free colonist. You, you know what? No, I'm going to grab uh, the expeditions because I want three additional ones. So there, let's do that. Okay, so now if we take a look, you have three expedition modules. So we can grab this alien skeleton, come down to the resource pod, hop into the water, grab this, uh, grab one of these satellites, come back up this way, you know, replenish, and then go back out. That's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see how far this actually gets. He might get killed. I don't think he will. Alright, so last but not least, I want to grab Planetary Survey, just to kind of show you guys the movement of the city and the amphibious trade. Alright, lots of things happened this time. Uh, you found a portable reactor and a fuel source inside the resource pod. Uh, you activate it, and uh, despite some damage from landing, it provides 50 energy. Good, very nice. And we got our first artifact! Yes! A speech compression computer in pristine condition. Now, uh, talk a little bit about the conditions, but uh, just note that uh, the, the better it is, the more resources it gives you. Okay, so a speech-to-data processor, the speech compression computer, was developed in order to help multinational teams work together on large projects. The remarkable software converts all forms of human speech into highly efficient binary data, which is then used as a universal language among workers. This iteration was developed to facilitate communication between teams building the massive uh, seed chips. Seed chips? What is that? Like the colony ships? Might be. Okay, view the library. So this is where all your artifacts are stored. And uh, there are three separate types of artifacts. We have Old Earth artifacts, Alien, and Progenitor artifacts. Now, Alien is, of course, like alien skeletons. I'm not actually sure. I've never gotten an alien artifact, but it might be like a bone or something. I can't really guesstimate on what it is until I actually get one. So the alien skeleton might give us one. And if it does, then we'll uh, see what uh, that gives us. Uh, progenitor stuff is like the Progenitor ruins. You're going to get stuff from that. Okay, uh, now what you can do with these guys is actually add them to this little research type bar and combine them to create new discoveries and advancements for your civilization. Now, if you added one without actually putting all three in, you'd get certain resources. So 76.8 production would go into Jiang uh, Sang, or maybe just in total, I'm not entirely sure what that would do, and 12 science. I'm actually going to keep this because I want to combine three things together. Now, what I also what I want to mention as well is that uh, it will destroy the uh, the artifact, so you can't actually use it again. But uh, the conditions, right? Yes, yeah, so the condition. If this wasn't pristine, if this was uh, say worn, which is one of the lowest uh, conditions, we wouldn't get as much resources down here. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we'll keep that around, and hopefully we get some more to combine and uh, give us our like our a new discovery or advancement. Okay, let's work on this uh, alien skeleton. See if we can get another uh, artifact. Hopefully we can. But, no promises. Let's see. Quest updated. Vanishers. Right. Uh, yeah. The beasts are real! Yells recovering victim Daniel Drake. Our efforts in Jiang Sing have managed to revive the two survivors who were dragged from their homes seven nights ago. They snatched my boy Sean from his bed with a million spiny arms. I was in the kitchen and came running to his screams. A hundred tiny eyes and twenty mouths is all I saw before they were off with me, too. That is the most terrifying thing I've read. Uh, we may have a problem. Both drakes recall being dragged to a nearby cave where a dozen large aliens met as a pack. The group attempted to approach the drakes, but was seemingly held at bay. At some point, I switched on my communication watch to try to call for help. The city's network doesn't reach that far, but as soon as my watch was on, the bristly bastards stayed away. 
Drake Jr. chimed in. After a while, they all ran off. Later, we heard more screaming from the town. It seems that our fair new city may have an, um, uh, an unfortunate location. We have two options now. We can attempt to ward these aliens off with an electromagnetic barrier. However, our best bet may be to bait the Vanishers off with our own food to capture and study them more closely. Right, uh, let's take a look at what we can do here for this. Bait the Vanishers continues to harmony, or deter the Vanishers continues to purity and continues to supremacy. Well, okay, so before we actually decide that, I want to actually go into here to show you guys the affinity menu now, which is a nice little ring that clearly shows you all the different levels of each and every uh, affinity. For some reason, it's not actually showing me um, uh, I think something happened to my game. One of the, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I... I can't show you right now. I have to restart the game, because I think one of my, uh... One of my hotkeys for recording the game actually screwed something up. So, uh, normally, if you hovered over one of these little circles, it would show you what each and every level does. But... I guess we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, we're gonna go into Harmony, because it allows us to leash aliens now. We can actually... Strap a leash on to say this uh, this manticore and actually tame it and use it as our you know use it for ourselves Which is just great. Uh, so we're gonna grab that that extra harmony There we go perfect uh, well, it doesn't actually give us the harmony it just you know puts us in the right direction for harmony Okay, what is new updates? Okay, besides having a clear appetite for colonists. We don't know much about the vanishers diet Assuming they're after meat we should dedicate some livestock to use as bait it's a dangerous game, grunted an angry drake. We built a city next to a pack of terrifying beasts. Oh, I know, let's feed them. You bureaucrats should guard the bait yourselves. Oh my goodness. All right, build one Vivarium building. That is a decent way away, I think. That's, um, Vivarium. Let's search it. Vivarium. It's an ecology. Oh. All right, well, perfect. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and work on that after we grab a planetary survey. And then we'll uh, finish the quest. In the meantime, all of our colonists will continue to get dragged out by this pack of vicious, spidery, gross, creepy things. Yeah, it's... yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, since opening the clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. Right, let's go ahead and grab uh, one health from each clinic. Provide care for civil workers. Absolutely. Okay. And again, it's, it's that time to kind of stop the episode and, uh, well, continue next time. Wow, that's a big colony of Hydra Coral. Uh, well, as long as it doesn't spread, I'm good. Alright, well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.